I can't believe I'm making a video about this. Honestly, I think this is one of the dumbest and inconsequential conversations we've had in sports in a long time. Regardless, many people have been asking me in the comments and on my social media pages for my opinion on the matter. Now if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me quickly get you up to speed. Noah Lyles is a professional sprinter for the US, who is now currently the fastest man in the world. Nobody has broken Usain Bolt's legendary records from 13 years ago. But as for the athletes who are currently competing, Noah is the best of the best. Recently, he won the gold medal and was crowned as world champion. But that's not the reason why everyone is talking about him in basketball circles. In a press conference, Noah shares some seemingly random thoughts on another sports league. Take a listen. You know the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? The United States? Don't get me wrong. I love the US at times, <laughs> but that ain't the world. <laughs> that is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> some people are hating on Noah for even saying this, and some people love him for it. Regardless on your opinion of his statement, he might just be a genius who is playing 4D chess, because his statement brought tons of attention to the world of track and field, and he's now a name and face that many people are aware of, and they likely would have never had a clue he even existed if he never made these comments. Now here's the thing, these comments from Noah basically started the goofiest war of semantics on the internet. A lot of NBA players took offense to his comments, while some foreigners could see where he was coming from and appreciated his comments. Now first and foremost, I freaking love my country, and yes, I do believe it's the greatest country in the world, and anyone that wants to fight me on that can stick it. Hoorah! But with that being said, I'm not the most arrogant American ever, who tells everyone in every single topic that it's my way or the highway. If I'm in a conversation with some foreigners and they want to refer to this specific game on screen as football, then I'm not going to get on my high horse and quote correct them by calling it soccer. In nearly everywhere else in the world, people refer to it as football. So I can then refer to our version of football as American football or as the NFL as a way of showing them respect. Like I said, I love my country and I'm a proud American. But I'm also not looking to convince the rest of the world that we're the best in the world at everything that's ever happened in all of human history, like some Americans do. Part of me feels like this aspect is an underlying driving force in this argument. Some Americans want to take the highest level of credit possible by calling it world champions, while foreigners are annoyed by the American elitism and prefer a more humble approach. Now there's two sides to the argument that both make sense. On one hand, you have the argument in favor of the world champion tag. More than ever before, the NBA is seen as a global brand, as the best players in the world have come together to compete in the United States. Therefore, the argument is that if the world's best players are represented in this league, then the champion would naturally be the champions of the world. There's also the angle that no other country's team could beat the Denver Nuggets. Thus, they stand alone at the top of the world. Although I think that is a safe assumption, that is still an assumption. Now on the other hand, there are those who don't think it should be called world champions, because teams are not representing their countries, but rather US cities. In the NBA, Giannis is not playing for Greece, he's playing for Milwaukee. Luka Doncic is not playing for Slovenia, he's playing for Dallas. And Nikola Jokic is not playing for Serbia, he's playing for Denver. Americans taking credit as world champions when a literal Serbian is the finals MVP seems a little arrogant and ridiculous to many foreigners. I think this whole conversation is kinda dumb, and there's certainly more interesting topics to discuss within the world of basketball. 
But if you really want to know where I stand on the matter, I do agree with Noah Lyles, in the sense that calling NBA champions world champions is a little ridiculous. I think his delivery is a little weird, him bringing it up is incredibly random, and him claiming that it quote hurts him is a little melodramatic to say the least. Have a Flintstones vitamin and cheer up, Buttercup. I think you'll be just fine. Regardless of the somewhat cringy delivery, the man's got a point, as I've always thought it was weird when people refer to the NBA champions as world champions. I mean, for goodness sake, the league itself is called the National Basketball Association. National, as in the nation, meaning the United States of America, not the world. Until you change the name of the league altogether, it's a losing argument, because the answer to the debate is literally built into the name of the league itself. Now sure, you could make the point that the best team in the world is in the NBA, but that's subject to change. The NBA owns their league, but they don't own the game of basketball as a whole. It's not like they have an exclusive patent on all forms of quality basketball. And what this means is that other leagues can rise up and compete against the NBA. If there ever comes a point where a foreign country has a league that's competitive to the NBA, do we then stop calling NBA winners world champions? Or does it remain that way because that's the way it's always been? It's shaky ground, and giving an NBA team that title is something that might make sense in the moment, but that likely won't always be the case. Especially when you consider how quickly the rest of the world is rapidly improving in the sport. The funny thing is that we already have a format where different countries compete against one another for the title of the best in the world. It's not this league, but this one. The FIBA Games and the Olympic Games meet all of the qualifications for a team to be honored as world champions, where players are actually representing their countries. What's even funnier is that the US is already the defending champions of the World Games, at least in terms of the Olympics. So it's hilarious to see so many Americans arguing that the NBA champs should be considered as world champs, when the US is already world champs in a league where countries actually compete. No matter how you slice it, the most impressive accomplishment in the game of basketball is without question the NBA championship. It doesn't have to be seen as a global accomplishment for it to be recognized as the pinnacle of basketball achievements. With that being said, I wouldn't say it's the league that determines the world champions. We already have that. It's simply the league that determines the NBA champions, which means way more in the grand scheme of basketball history anyway. Now you might look at this video and say to yourself, who cares what some dumb YouTuber says compared to what the NBA players say? But the thing is, several legendary basketball minds have agreed with my conclusion. One of those was the all-time great head coach, Greg Popovich. Back in 2010, Coach Pop said this, There are no world champions in the NBA, so anybody that has a flag up that says world champions is not correct. It's not appropriate. The world champions, I believe, are the Spanish team right now. USA is the Olympic champion. The Lakers are the NBA champion. It doesn't make sense for an NBA team to call themselves world champions. I don't remember anybody playing outside of our borders to get that tag. There's a team in Canada, that's true, but the world's bigger than North America. Recently, Shaquille O'Neal echoed the thoughts of Greg Popovich, which means a lot coming from a man who had four championships of his own. At the end of the day, this is truly the corniest, goofiest, and the most unnecessarily heated basketball debates that I've ever seen. I kinda just want to get a good idea on where the majority of my audience stands. So let me know in the comments below, are you on Team World Champions or Team NBA Champions? I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.